The North Crowley Panthers have locked up another district championship this season, but that's not even the best part of what's happened for them this year. In this week's Inside Story, we meet a young man who reminds us all that there's much more to life than just winning and losing. Go into any gym in the area after school and you'll see students hard at work, living the dream of playing for their high school. Sometimes you'll find a young man whose life has been turned upside down, but you never know just by looking. That is certainly the case at North Crowley High School, where just nine months ago, the life of senior forward Mike Hall was hanging precariously on the side of a road just a few miles from his home. I remember I was driving home through like a back road. And I would get ready to turn a corner and see no cars. And I just remember seeing a van just come really fast. And then it started to go in slow motion. I got hit from the side. I blinked. And then um, a woman came and she asked for my mom's number. And all I was thinking that she was going to be really upset at me. In reality, nothing could be further from the truth as Mike's mother's life was changed in a major way. I get a call from a complete stranger and she tells me, you know, your son's been in a horrible car wreck. And I say, put, put him on the phone, are you sure? And she was like, he can't talk, mom. And the next thing I knew, it was all these tubes and needles in me and I was like very afraid of needles. Michael had been broadsided, taking the brunt of the blow directly on the driver's side of the car. His leg, hip, jaw, and scapula were fractured. When I saw Michael, he was not talking. He was unconscious. There was blood everywhere. We had to do emergency surgery, 10 hours. No one in the family could come up. Once I saw the car, oh my goodness, the car had caught on fire. It's amazing that he made it out. Tommy Brackle has been the head coach at North Crowley since the school opened in 1998. Seeing one of his players suffer a tragic accident was devastating, but it was no surprise that the tight-knit community quickly rallied around Mike and his family. It was amazing and says a lot about him as a young man and his character in general that you have this group of adults that are just basically standing in line waiting to help him. Valerie Duran was one of those adults. Mike's gift is that he is... 100% resilient and zero apprehension. No fear. I mean, literally everything that I asked him to do, there was no hesitation. One day, I finally was feeling at ease and was comfortable with her taking Michael outside. And he did a video, and he was just so excited just to be outside, and I could see the life just go back inside of him of, we can do this. The same will to survive carried over into his rehab as he willed himself back to the life he had always enjoyed in just a matter of months. Having Mike back on the court gave all of his teammates a big lift as they witnessed firsthand how much the human mind, body, and spirit is capable of. I think that says a lot about his character. It says a lot about how he was determined to sit there and be able to play and to get better and be able to walk. And when he checked into a game for the first time this season, it was a sense of joy mixed with concern. My heart was so nervous, so nervous, because I was like, I'm not ready. We didn't talk about this. Hold up. Are we sure? Wait a minute. That was quickly put to rest as his first trip to the foul line resulted in two points that fans, players, and coaches admired. Yeah! Well, he made those free throws. It was so beautiful to see him out there just run. It was, it was so amazing. You know, I've been doing this for almost 20 years, and I don't see, I see lots of little comebacks, right? But you don't see miracles like that. We're all like a family, and we love each other, and I love the support here. It's just really great to be here, and I really appreciate all of them for sticking with me.